All right, if you're thinking about building a PC and you're diving into the world of used parts to save some cash, first of all, smart move. But hold on, before you hit that buy now button or meet with somebody locally from Facebook Marketplace, there are a few common mistakes that I see beginners making all the time. And trust me, these can cost you time, money, or even your entire PC build. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top three mistakes that beginners make when buying used parts for PCs. I've actually made all of these mistakes myself, and I wanna make sure that you guys watching this video can avoid them. So let's go to mistake number one. And this one is actually going to apply more if you're buying stuff locally, let's say Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. And that mistake is not testing the parts or buying from sellers who will not let you test them. Now the latter half of that mistake, if the seller does not let you test any of the parts, instantly say no and do not buy it. Most likely what's happening is the part does not work. They're advertising as it does work and they're trying to scam you. So don't do that. If they do let you test it, I would recommend testing it if possible. Some places it's not possible unless you bring an extra battery with your car if there's a plug available. But a lot of times what I've noticed is asking if you can test it usually tells most of the story. If they say yes, most of the time, I'd say 95 to 100% of the time, they are not scammers and they're just trying to sell it. If they say no, run away, do not buy from them. A good seller will either post a video or provide a video if you ask of the part actually running functionally. And if they don't, a good seller will always let you test it out before you buy it. The main reason I say this isn't online is mostly because if you're buying from eBay, they have a really good return policy for stuff like this. So I still would be cautious, try not to buy from somebody who has a lot of bad reviews. Just read some of the reviews from the seller and you should be good to go and make sure that the listing is actually used or certified refurbished and not for parts. If you're buying locally, try to bring a test bench, maybe bring a friend just in case, but you should be good to go besides that. And going on to mistake number two is overpaying for old tech. This one can be a little bit sneaky as sometimes sellers will list their item for what it was worth, not what it is worth currently. I really like to go to a website called averagefinder.com, which finds the average price of stuff, specifically tech related stuff on eBay. Let's say for example, a GTX 1080 was $700 when it released, but now you can get that or some performance for much cheaper. Always make sure you do a quick price to performance check on everything that you're buying and make sure the average price of it is roughly what they're asking so you know that you're getting yourself a good deal. Also for used parts, make sure that you compare it to a new price. Let's say you find a used GPU for $200, but then the new one sells for $220 and it has a warranty. It's much worth spending that $20 to make sure you have warranty just for peace of mind instead of buying it used to save that 20 bucks. And the final mistake, which is mistake number three, is forgetting compatibility. I can't tell you the amount of times I've had people message me saying they found a crazy deal on a CPU just to find out the motherboard that they currently have is not the same socket and does not support it. I've also seen people buy higher end CPUs or GPUs and their power supply that they currently have does not have enough connectors to actually support it properly. Or the worst case is that you buy a graphics card and it's too big for the actual case that you're putting it in. That can be the absolute worst. I always make sure to recommend people double check compatibility and the main website that I use for that is PC Part Picker. PC Part Picker will absolutely be your best friend. I use it for every single build that I do, whether it be personal or a flip. I'm not sponsored by them at all. It's just facts. It is the most convenient website that you can use for PC building. They have a bunch of compatibility stuff. There are a few things they don't have, but in general, most of the time you should be covered with what they have. There'll be a little error at the top that says what the issue is and you can figure out what it is, whether it be a BIOS issue or actual clearance issues. So if you're just starting out with building your next PC and you're trying to save a little bit of money by going with the used market. Keep those three things that I mentioned in mind when you're purchasing items. Test it, price check it, and make sure that it's actually compatible with your build that you are currently working on. Used parts can save you a ton of money in the long run, but only if you shop smartly. If you did find this helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel down below. And let me know in the comments what parts you're hunting for currently on the used market. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.